Well, being in business for 90 years is really a, a tremendous achievement in the resource industry. And a lot of cycles come and go. You see a lot of, of change in the world over the course of 90 years, and Sherrod has changed a lot over those 90 years to, and to respond to that. Sherrod, or Sherrod Gordon Mines Limited, as it was known then, was formed in 1927 when a prospector named Carl Sherrod teamed up with a venture capitalist named J.P. Gordon to develop mineral claims in Canada. The company found early success, leading to the construction of a copper mine and the founding of the town of Sheridan, Manitoba for workers and their families. By 1931, the mine began production and became a profitable operation. A decade later, as the mine was nearing closure, Sherrod Gordon discovered an attractive nickel-copper deposit at Lynn Lake, nearly 200 kilometers away. However, Lynn Lake did not have infrastructure or services to support a mining project. Undeterred, Sherrod Gordon cut a winter road from Sheridan to Lynn Lake and began transporting the community and its buildings by sleigh over the course of seven years a true example of the company's pioneering spirit that continues to this day. In 1948, the company began to fund research that led to the development of a new process for refining metals. The hydrometallurgical process became a global standard for the refining of nickel and cobalt and variations of it have been licensed to more than 35 different operations around the world. In 1952, Sherrod Gordon selected Fort Saskatchewan, Alberta as the site for its new nickel and cobalt refinery. The location was strategic. It had an abundant supply of water and natural gas, which are inputs for the refining process, and was on the National Rail Line. Sherrod Gordon was the first major investor to recognize the fort's potential, but others followed. It is now one of the largest industrial areas in Canada. As the refinery produced ammonium sulfate fertilizer as a byproduct, the fort became a major fertilizer producer in Western Canada and still commands a significant market share. The fort site also grew into an R&D hub that led to enhancements in the hydrometallurgical process, as well as the development of value-added nickel and cobalt products, and coinage production for supplying the Royal Canadian Mint and other countries over the years. In 1991, Sherrod acquired Canada Northwest Energy Limited, an oil and gas company with a history dating back to the 1880s. Soon after, Sherrod turned to Cuba for oil exploration opportunities, which represented the foundation of the company's Cuban energy business. In 1994, to secure nickel resources for the Fort Saskatchewan refinery, the company reached an agreement with General Nickel of Cuba to establish the MOA joint venture, consisting of a mine and processing facility near the Cuban town of MOA and the refinery in the fort. Sherrod went on to establish other businesses in Cuba, including the Energas joint venture that produces electricity. Today, Sherrod ranks among the largest foreign investors on the island. Nickel is a leading export. Sherrod produces about one third of all oil produced in Cuba, and Energas generates about 15% of all energy available on the island's grid. In 2007, Sherrod entered Madagascar, a country new to large-scale mining, when the company acquired Dynatech Corporation. With the acquisition, Sherrod gained a 40% stake in the Ambatovi Nickel Project. Sherrod and its Ambatovi partners built a mining, processing, and refining operation in-country, creating significant economic benefits for Madagascar. To help finance this project, the Ambatovi Partners secured the largest project financing in the history of Sub-Saharan Africa at the time. Today, Ambatovi represents the largest foreign investment in Madagascar and is recognized internationally for its leadership in sustainable mining and world-class operation. 
Sherritt is very proud of its success and pioneering spirit throughout the 90-year history of the company and its predecessors. Sherritt will continue to build on its hard-won experience to create sustainable prosperity for its host countries, investors, and employees well into the future. I think there is a tremendous amount of, of history in it and a tremendous amount of, of pride in that history. And I think that is a, a great strength of Sherritt and that does give us a great base of knowledge and, and, and confidence to move forward into new opportunities and in an uncertain world in the future. For us today, it's about being, being efficient, being competitive um, and being, being agile. It's a, it's a fast changing world and if we can uh, find ways to uh, marshal our capabilities uh, into new opportunities, the way we have been able to in the past 90 years, uh, there should be a lot of success ahead of us. Happy anniversary, Sherry. Feliz anniversario, Sherry. Feliz cumpleaños, Sherry. Happy birthday, Sherry. Sherry, happy anniversary. Bon anniversary, Sherry, pour les 90 ans. Happy anniversary, Sherry. Feliz 90th anniversario, Sherry. Joyeux anniversary, Sherry. Happy anniversary, Sherry. Feliz anniversary, Sherry. Happy anniversary, Sherry.